Hi everyone, we are in Endurance Laser Lab. Today we are going to explore our laser abilities and we are considering to make our own SLA 3 printer. At least we plan to uh, make some changes in existing model and we want to explore if we can use uh, our diode laser with wavelengths 445 nanometers or our um, ultraviolet uh, 355. Okay, let me show you. Okay, so we have uh, resin. Uh, this this is black one and a cubic. We're not uh, promoting it uh, with a recommended wavelength 405 nanometers. That's uh, violet. That's not ultraviolet. That's violet. They say that it's UV, but actually this wavelength is deep violet. We have our uh, Galvo hand with uh, 355 and our diode laser. It's actually our laser pointer. Uh, 445 nanometers so as you see we printed out uh, this cage with a bird before on uh, this 3d printer and now we are exploring uh, if our lasers can actually uh, affect uh, this resin so we have uh, some some here and I put it on a piece of glass just, just a test, just showing that the diode laser and uh, UV laser will affect. So that's pretty, pretty thick. We need to make it uh, a thinner, thinner layer. It's, it's not printing. It's just a test showing that uh, on this layer we'll have, we'll have something. Okay, uh, this laser is actually working on. Uh, uh, minimum power and you see that's uh, uh, the, the focusing uh, uh, focusing beam that's uh, focus should be somewhere here okay so we're not turning it on that's that's very important it's like minimum power I don't know maybe like uh, 10 milliwatts maybe uh, 20 we did we don't even measure it and once you see it here let me show you we can make some some image and uh, you see that's actually you see we have we have it we have this piece it's actually very very thin you see that's very very thin with a uh, we're gonna get it no it's like getting out an alien okay you see the the very thin particle so that's actually reacted with real uv laser beam all right so we plan to use uh this galvo for for uh printing because it's very very thin the, the laser beam qualities uh, tem uh, double zero so it's it's completely and the uh, wavelength is 355 so we can get really really tiny spot okay we're done with that and let's uh, do the same experiment with the diode laser so uh here um yeah let me uh, check the focus and the power on minimum power it, it will not do it oops sorry i'm burning <laughs> burning furniture okay and here i plan to go through the uh, through the resin, and we'll see what we get. Okay, turn it on. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Okay, you, we we still got it. You see, the resin actually can um, works good with. Um, with both wavelengths, so it's not only 405 nanometers, it works perfectly with 445 nanometers and with 355, that gives us uh, some, some positive feelings that we can make our own 3D printer with our own lasers. So uh, please follow our uh, uh, website endurancelasers.com and visit our online store endurance-lasers.com if you have any questions email me gf at endurancerobots.com add comments ideas under this video 
thanks for watching and uh, keep tuned and keep updated with endurance laser progress thank you bye bye